Hey, all you cool cats and fine felines. It's Leah and Lynn. And today we are in Memphis, Tennessee. And if you recognize the wall behind us, ooh, that's where we are. We're at Graceland. And we're gonna walk up to the meditation garden and visit Elvis and the rest of the Presleys. And we brought them some flowers. So follow us. Lynn, what are we gonna do? Get into the groove. That's right. Imagine being a fan standing out here at the fence when Elvis still lived here. My daddy used to live in Memphis when he was a little boy and he and my Aunt Brenda came to Graceland and they were over on the side of the house. They weren't in the front of the house and the side of the house just had like a wood, little wooden fence and Elvis well, Dad said the housekeeper came out to the wall. They were screaming for Elvis. And the housekeeper said, let me go see if I can see if he's here. And so she went back inside. And he said like 10 minutes later, Elvis came out to the fence. He said he would never forget it. He was black hair, a red shirt, and he looked beautiful. He came out, he kissed my Aunt Brenda and shook my dad's hand. My dad was eight years old ten years old and um yeah somewhere there's a picture of it but he's never seen it so what a great story somewhere out here we wrote our names up at the top of the wall a while ago but I, I'm not, I don't think it was this far down. Yeah. The amount of people that make a pilgrimage to Graceland every year is enormous. And they come from all over the world. When we were standing at the meditation garden, we heard... French, we heard German, we heard Russian, we heard Portuguese. It was 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning at Graceland. And all of these people from around the world had come to pay their respects to Elvis Presley and his family. After all these years, it's still just, it blows my mind. Every morning at Graceland, between the hours of 7.30 and 8.30, they let anyone in for free. And um, it's really a special experience to walk through those gates. Because normally they cart you up in a van when you take the tour. But to get to walk through the gates and walk up the driveway, it's magical. And um, I love that they... they just open it up for everybody to visit for that hour. Now, of course, you can't go up to the house. You can only go to the meditation garden. Now, I wanted to show this view right here because when we came for Lisa Marie Presley's funeral, 
this is the way that they had everybody walk and stand. And right here in front of Graceland is where they had the tent. Now, I still, I still feel so honored that me and Lynn and my family were able to be there.
gave yourself to each of us in some manner. You were wrapped in thoughtfulness and tied with love. May this flame reflect our never-ending respect and love for you. May it serve as a constant reminder to each of us of your eternal presence. The king of rock and roll used to live here. Walk down those steps and walk all the way out here and talk but, to fans. But can you imagine the other people, not just Elvis, but all the other legends, rock and roll legends that have walked through that door as well? stone on the fence that goes all the way around the entire property. Field stone from Mississippi. They had this fence made to go around Grayson. They would have loved to have been involved in that way. Yeah. Although dad said whenever he met him it was over here on the side of the house and it was just a wooden fence. The famous gates of Graceland. Meow. Meow. Hey, meow. Uh, Ooh. 
gone. I just stepped in that mud. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Double the price. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Graceland behind us. Until next time. We'll be back. We'll be back in the summer. <laughs>